Hello guys and welcome back to another PancakeSwap market update. Today we're going to explore the idea of PancakeSwap potentially falling to $1. And of course it hurts my brain to just think about this because I'm a PancakeSwap holder myself. However, I understand that the market does not owe me anything. And so I'm going to have to approach this market analysis with a very objective perspective. Let's go ahead and take a look at cake over on the weekly. This is a logarithmic chart just so that we can see what's going on a little bit better. Let's begin with the basics. We have a downtrend. We basically see a price structure of lower highs and lower lows. Therefore, as long as we have a downtrend, we should assume that there's going to be a lower low at some point. And I understand that if Bitcoin actually falls below its previous low of $17,500, PancakeSwap will quickly move down towards $2.50. And if we lose that low, then the next major level of support would be just about $1.12. Now, I believe that in the near future, we could see another crash for PancakeSwap leading towards $2.50. That is because we have yet another rising wedge. And as you guys can see, we've had a couple of those. And these are basically just short term uptrends within a much bigger downtrend. And as you guys can see, as soon as price action breaks below the support line of the rising wedge, we also tend to go below the 10 moving average. We've seen that here, here, and we may be about to see that again over here. That is not only because we have another rising wedge formation, but because cake is now getting extremely close to this resistance line. Now, the reason why I believe everything is just likely to continue moving lower in the near future is because inflation is still relatively too high. Therefore, the federal government is going to have to keep engaging with quantitative tightening and of course the markets do not like that now there's also the unlikely scenario where pancake swap rallies above this previous high that is five dollars to potentially rechallenge this previous high that is ten dollars and fifty six cents understand that for cake to do this it would have to break above the resistance line and even then we would still have to see a higher low in order for that uptrend to continue again remember this is not the most likely scenario because we're still moving in a downtrend but let's assume that cake does actually break above this resistance line to then target this area of ten dollars and fifty six cents let's say that it actually goes a bit higher than that well we'd have to see a higher low and an eventual higher high in order to say well guys we are on our way to potentially challenge higher highs. Now, guys, before I forget, let me add that if cake falls to a dollar and 12 cents, that would be a 97.42% drop from the all time high. And again, this may seem extreme, but this is just what happens with all coins in a bear market. Now, with that being said, I am holding every single one of my cakes. I have locked them up in a contract. It's a uh, one year long contract. Therefore, I'm not gonna be able to do anything with them until I think it's March next year. Now, taking a look at the Bitcoin dominance, uh, this also seems to be problematic because if we get a reversal for BTC.D and it moves higher towards this area of 50%, we would basically see Bitcoin outperforming all coins within the bear market, meaning that all coins are just going to fall a lot more than Bitcoin itself. Now, with this recent push to the upside for BTC.D, we've seen recent rejection of the 10 moving average. However, if it continues moving higher and past the 10 moving average, then it is more likely that it will actually go all the way back up to this range, this is not an exact uh, price. Here we have basically 49%, here we have uh, 47.71, and here we have 48.44. So it could likely rally towards this range up here. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and take a quick peek at my only cake portfolio, which is sadly down almost 74% at this 
point with a total loss of approximately $23,000 and an average price of $15.88. Now, I have to rebalance this portfolio, which I haven't done in some time. But again, I just kind of want to let it build up. I know I am in a massive loss already anyways. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, even though it is a bearish video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing. That way, you can always remain up to date. And if you have any questions about anything I've just mentioned, make sure to join our Telegram community, which you can find a link to in the top comment below this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.